overseas now. Today in Cairo, CIA Director Bill Burns met with Egyptian, Israeli and Qatari officials to push for a new ceasefire deal and a plan to free more than 100 hostages still being held by Hamas. The high stakes meeting comes one day after the Israeli army rescued two hostages, 60 year old Fernando Marmon and 70 year old Louis Har. Joining us now is Idan Begarano. He is the son-in-law of Louis Har, that hostage just rescued in the Israeli raid. And five of Idan's family members were taken hostage by Hamas. They are all now free. Idan, thank you for joining us. We are, are thrilled your family has been reunited. Can you walk us through what you were feeling when you finally got to see and hug your family members? Yes, good afternoon first, but um, yes, we, we got a speci special message um, 36 hours ago by a mid middle of the night phone call by our um, contact person in the IDF, who just called us and said, Luis is in our hands, Fernando is in our hands, please come to the hospital to meet them and greet them. And we were sh a bit shocked and we didn't know what to, we didn't expect that phone at all. We haven't expected at all that any military action will be done in order to rescue them. Um, and we just, you know, started to act uh, automatically, got dressed, took our car and drove one hour towards the hospital, um, seeking really to see the faces of both of them after they were released after 128 days. It was really a shocking moment for us. And uh, when we entered to the hospital led by the IDF people and the people from the hospital. She just took us to the room where they were. The two of them were kept. They were still uh, lying in bed, um, of course, going uh, under medication mm -hmm. and medical treatment. And we just came in, and my my wife just ran inside and hugged their father like they never hugged before. Um, actually, no no real words, just hugs, tears for a few minutes. And really, really, really trying to complete the, all the lost minutes and moments that they haven't met each other, haven't talked to each other, haven't been communicated to each other for 128 days since they yeah. were taken under. It, it's been 129 days that they were yes. held captive. And, and looking at those pictures, it is so heartwarming. What have you learned about their time in captivity and, and how is their health? Um, so regarding the, the time in captivity, most of the information that we still have about the time in captivity is um, when the first batch of the family, the women, were released on, in the 53rd day of the war. Um, they were kept, all the five family members were kept together. And when they came back, they said that they are in good condition, somehow um, kept in, a, in an area that, um, and it was not bombed and uh, not in the center of the war, but in very hard conditions, but they are still okay. And since then, it took 75 or 76 days without any communication, without any life signal that we haven't got any information and we didn't, we didn't know what's happening with Luis and Fernando. So when we met them and when we saw them, um, we tried a little bit, you know, to ask. We were a bit hesitant in order to, ch to, to ask them what have they gone through, what did they do in all those days. But they were anxious to talk to us only about us, about mm -hmm. the kids, about the nephews, about the family, about the grandkids, to understand what happened with us. And they, they showed um, somehow um, care about us instead of us caring about them. So some of they still keep the, 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 all the hostage situation, all the, the captivity time still behind them, and they are not ready yet to talk about it. I can understand that. And wow, yeah. to think that they're thinking of others, less about themselves yes. and more about you and the family on the outside. Um, again, so happy that you all are reunited, that they are now yes. back in the care of loved ones and doctors. And of course, our hearts are with the other families still waiting on that reunion. Idan Begarano, thank you for joining us. Yes, and thank you. If I can just may, may, may say that, you know, although our family now is complete and the five family members are here, and the heart of us and the heart of the Israeli people is still not complete. And there are still 134 hostages kept in Gaza, some of them in very hard, harsh conditions, in tunnels, some of them in uh, bombed areas, some of them maybe in buildings surrounded by the Hamas. And we, we, there are 134 families in Israel that were waiting 
to be happy like us. And we all in Israel, we continue to seek for the freedom of those hostages. It's very, very important for me to say today that it's not finished. Although we are part of the happy side of the story, Israel is still in a very tough situation. Absolutely. Thank you for Absolutely. For and there's still so much we don't know about those still held in captivity. Hopefully your family can offer them all hope, though, as, as we wait on the hostage deal that is in the works, we hope. Thank you again for being here with us. Idan.